What's up guys, BuilderDude35 here with the final part of the pneumatic system series on air storage. For the fifth and final video in the series, we now have air storage. And this is a more optional part of a pneumatic system. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it's definitely helpful in some applications. And this is air storage. And as you can probably guess from the name, we're basically going to be storing air pumped by the compressor. And to do this, the most common way to do this is using these air tanks here, made by LEGO, and they store a good deal of air. And they kind of act like a tube extension in the sense that there's a port on each side, where you plug in the tube on one side, and then plug in another tube on the other side. And um, the reason why you would use air tanks is, like I said, to store air. And this is helpful for FLL use, if you want to use pneumatics for that, because you're going to take... Uh, the compressor and pre-pump all of your air into these tanks uh, and then uh, once your match starts your robot is going to take the air that is stored in these tanks and distribute it to the pistons where it needs to go uh, wherever and it's also helpful if you're using a small compressor like I am because this compressor can't exactly keep up with the, the air needs of an entire pneumatic system so what you can do is you can kind of give the compressor a head start where you keep pumping air into these tanks here and now you have uh, more air and um, your, uh, your compressor can continue to keep the air pressure replenished instead of always having to pump up the air each time you move a piston. And that brings me to my next point. Uh, Lego's pneumatic systems are um, not exactly airtight. Every time you move the position of a valve, it's going to lose a bunch of air in the system. So if I were to switch a valve to make this piston extend um, and then switch it back, I'm going to lose a good deal of air. So that's another reason behind wanting to store the air pressure because it's you're going to eventually lose it over time. Uh, lastly, if you want to store up a whole bunch of air pressure for one burst, like I did in 2013 with the original Thundersmart, I had my compressor running for several minutes and then what I would do is I would um, have the air stored up in the tanks and when I would flip the valve, all of the air that was in the tanks would rush into one or two pistons and it would prop the car up really high like almost like a hydraulic system in a real car and it was really funny so that's an, um, one final thing that you could do with air tanks one additional note is that if you don't have these uh, fancy special air tanks what you can do is take a length of tube preferably a long one and coil it up and this will act as an air tank because it kind of it stores air within the length of its tube it won't necessarily be as effective as these air tanks, but it's definitely something that you could consider using as a substitute. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.